Lady Fuente. Thank you. Uh, almost 20 years ago, uh, obviously, I supported Chinatown and negotiated with Alameda about the impacts on Chinatown. Uh, we have to be we have to be realistic about growth. And one of the things that we have to be realistic about is who was the communities that have been impacted for a long, long time. But at the same time, what it boils down to is that unfortunately in Oakland at this time, everything goes. That's one of the biggest reasons that we have uh, the problems that we have in Oakland with traffic. Not only in Chinatown, but throughout the city. Because everything goes, we don't enforce any of the laws that we have. And I know that that sounds simple, but it is critical. You can have all the laws and all the plans and the books, but if you don't implement them, if you don't have the political will to actually implement and to protect our communities, the thing will continue, will only continue will be a problem. Uh, um, the, uh, the Howard Terminal Project, uh, I will. I will not only participate in the negotiations to make sure that if that project happens, mitigates the impacts not only to Chinatown, but the entire city. But we have to, again, Cities have to grow. We have to grow, manage to grow, and we have to make sure that the people that have been impacted are not impacted, but at the same time, we cannot just put our head on the sand and say no. We just have to make things work. And the mayor of the city has the ability and the power, not only to direct the staff, but if I become your mayor, I can tell you that I'm gonna be at that negotiating table, and you're gonna make me responsible for the outcome. Thank you. Thank you, candidate De La Fuente.